Welcome to You Can Do It. Today we're working on the Laser HP 3055. I think it's the 3050 and the 3052. They're all pretty much the same. Brilliant printer. I've had this one for years. Um, it works fantastically. Apart from right now, we've got a real problem because it keeps jamming up. So it picks up paper. If you try to print off, I don't know, five things, if you've got a document, five or six pages, it'll print the first one or two and then it just jams up or it'll print the first one and jam up straight away. So it basically, it jams up down here and you also end up having to pull the paper out from there. Look, I've got a jam in there at the moment. So that has to come out. So normally I can get it there and then you pull it slowly, not too hard. It won't stay up. All right, pen in the arse. Now, obviously, wife's site, well, let's, check, let's get a new printer, but to get one this sort of quality that'll last, you know, with your photocopy and all that, it's, it's, um, and it's laser. So you're not running out and changing printer cartridges. Anyway, you know all that, because that's why you're on this video. You've, you've got one of these printers. So let's try and solve this jam. Done a bit of research on the internet, um, and I think I found out what the problem could be. So stick with me and we'll quickly solve this problem. Okay, so first things first, disconnect it obviously, which I've done, I've taken it out into the workshop because it's a bit, it's a bit brighter. Right, so what we've got to do, we've got to take this panel off here. We've got to get to something down here, in here. So first things first, the way you do it is just here. You'll have one little screw here, look. I'm trying to do this and video at the same time, so. If you want to be professional, have a little magnetic tray to stick your bits in so you don't. Then this thing here just simply comes off here, underneath. You have to lift it up a bit. It comes off like that, and then it goes like that. And don't, don't pull it too much because it's got some little tabs that stick in there. And then push that forward and it'll come off. And I can't do that, lift this up and video at the same time. So I'm just going to slide that off, off put that in the, in the spare pile. Right. So we're down here. So the next thing to take off is this bracket here. Yeah, so you've got one screw here, like that. I'll just undo that one. There we are, put it in the tray. Another one around the back here. Put that in there. There we are. That thing drops off. Screw in there. Drop in there, right. Now the bit we're trying to get to, let me get some light in here, is that bit down there, which is a, some sort of solenoid, which something does something to do with the pickup. So we've got to get that out. Now there's a, if you can see, can you see there, there's a screw. We've got to get that screw, we've got to get that screw there. So I'll put my screwdriver in there, which I'm gonna need two hands to do and get that screw out. So I'm going to undo that now. Yeah, that's a bit of an angle, but we can unscrew that. I'm going to start unscrewing it now. There you go. There's another, another screw out there in the box. Right. Now, you've got to be a bit careful here because this thing is hooked up. So you take that out. There we are, look, she's there. Now, there's a little clip there. Oh, you can see that. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Look. There's a little plastic clip there. There you are. There, which it sits in. So you've got to take that out there. Now, we're going to. Well, maybe I will. Do I need to actually take this off? I don't know. I can probably do it here. But if you want to, you can undo this clip here. Long clip from there as well. Look, you can just pull it out like that. If you buy a new one, or you. But we're going to sort this one out, hopefully. Right. What I think the problem is. Look, that's supposed to be free, and I imagine this is some sort of like cushioning. You can see there, like a bit of. But look what happens. If you hold that, look. There, yeah, it's stuck on it. There we are. So I reckon that could be sticky mess things up so let's get to the nitty-gritty we've got to take this off here and clean it okay got this on some sort of little stand here look so look take that spring out be careful do not lose that put it in the tray and then this 
know which way it goes. Right in. So this, so this basically, look, pivots on there. And I think what's happening is what was supposed to be a cushion has got degraded over time. Look, and it sticks. So look, that's all just sticky glue. So I'm gonna get some thinners. I'll get some thinners there, look. We'll just clean that up. Be back in a minute. Okay. A bit of thinners on there, look. We'll just. Yeah. Clean that all off. On there. Not so much there. And then obviously, on this side there, look. See that? That's, that's what's sticking. So obviously that's just like foam or whatever that's just degraded over time. So now I'm just going to try and put um, a bit of uh, maybe um, insulation tape on there instead. Let me go find a bit of insulation tape and I'll stick I'll stick some on there. Okay, so look, I've cut a bit of bit of insulation tape. And I've cut three strips, so I put three on top of each other, and then I've stuck them on there. And then if we put that just back on top like that, look, if you look down there, that's all about parallel. Um, look, that doesn't stick. So we get our spring here. Again, be careful with this because if it pings across the room, it's sort of game over. If he, unless of course you can find it. There we are, look. She's on there, look. So that springs forward. There, look. There's no way that sticks. Whereas before, if I pushed it like that, it'd stick. So, let's put this back. Let's put it back together again. So, uh, I'm going to move this. And then I'll get underneath and, and thread that cable through. And then we'll start trying to put it back in there. So let me... Put my tools away that I've got out so far. All right, be well chuffed if this works. So let me just spin this around. And uh, okay, to so make it easy for you guys to see, I'll put this to compute, put it on its end. But look, there's a clip there that it needs to go in. Push that back in. Then this needs to go back in here. Yeah. So that, that basically sits there. It actually sits there quite nicely. It's obviously like sits there a lot. And that, that metal thing there, look if you see, sort of goes around and runs on a on a on a cog there. And I think if that if that sticks onto that solenoid, then it would miss the slot, which means it tries to pick up twice, which is my maybe where the jam's coming from. So let me just put my screw back there. And then we can start assembling the rest of it on the top here. So she, I'll say, okay, that's nice and tight in there. So now we'll just put the end piece on. So here. that goes on like that. And that in there. I'll put the two little, so these two little screws in there. I need two hands to do that. So I'm going to put one screw in there and one in there. So that's on, nice and tight. And we just put the the end piece on, which is actually, if you look here. You can see the the tabs there, there's three tabs, so they need to go in the front there, hook on, and then this should pull down, there you are, pull over, and now we put the last last screw in there. So I'll do that now, this, this little one here. So that's all done and leveled, so I'm going to put that back in the office, because uh, I'm on the network, so I need to plug that into there, and we'll give it a go and see if it runs. But if it does... Champagne all round. Okay, so now it's printing. Well, we've done a lot more than it would normally do. Yeah. Man, that would have jammed up by now. So guys, we fixed it. You can do it. Remember, you can always do it. So uh, yeah, we fixed the printer. It was that solenoid. You need to take that off, clean that sticky bit off and put just a bit of, um, uh, gaff uh, a bit of tape on there or something. 
and then you've done it. So I, we were going to throw that out, and look at that's got years. Well, I wasn't going to throw it out. It's too, I thought I'd fix it, but uh, anyway, hope this video has helped. It must have helped. You've re, you've, you've, you've got another good ten years out of your printer because he's a really good printer. So thanks for watching.